Hey guys, and welcome to the very first video of 2019. It's another inside scoop looking back at December and looking ahead at what January 2019 has to bring us. So um, I'm sorry again that I'm very casual today. I've got my toque on. Uh, I've just been running around like crazy. So if this week is any indication of what this year is going to take, I'd say it's going to be pretty busy. So I've kind of squeezed you in. I've been meaning to do this for a couple days, so I apologize that it's a couple days late here. But let's just jump right into it. What is the market doing? Well, uh, in December, this actually kind of surprised me. There was actually more listings this December than last December in Metro Vancouver, Greater Vancouver, and in the Fraser Valley. But lower number of sales and lower price points. So what we're seeing in Metro Vancouver and uh, Greater Vancouver is the sales prices drop by about 5% overall. That's in general, right? Um, and then in Fraser Valley, they dropped 4%, slightly better. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I get all these stats from a third-party company called SnapStats, and what they do is they break it down by like a large area. We do Greater Vancouver, Metro Vancouver, Fraser Valley, and then in them and amongst those, they break it down even further. So we've got in Fraser Valley, we've got like North Surrey, Surrey, South Surrey, Cloverdale, Langley, and then even further, they break it down by sub area. So you can really hone in on exactly where you are and see what the statistics are doing in your area. So if you're interested in that, learning about your area and what the market is doing, uh, let me know and I can send you those every month. They're awesome. I live by them. Snaps out for life. <laughs> So next, we are gonna talk about the BC assessments that everybody's been getting in the mail. Uh, so keep in mind about these assessments that this was done as of July, 2018. So the market has changed a little bit since then. And keep in mind that assess value and market value are not the same thing. So just because it says one number on your assessment does not mean that's what your house is gonna sell for. So talk to a realtor about what the market value of your home could be if you are interested in selling. And if you read that assessment and you said, um, heck no, that cannot be accurate, then good news is you can appeal that up until January 31st. So if you're not happy, appeal it. And if you need some help on that, just give me a shout and I'll walk you through it. I think that's it. Nice and quick today. Um, Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a really good holiday season. Um, and I'm so looking forward to 2019. It's going to be an awesome year. I can feel it already. And for those of you who are wondering, because I've gotten this question a lot today, yes, it's a toque. And yes, that's my hair. There's a hole in the top. So you can wear messy buns or ponytails. So the more you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, keep, keep an eye on my blog, on Instagram, on my Facebook for all the new shenanigans that I get up to because it's fun. <laughs> Thanks so much guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.